Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we've got a lot of new Yu-Gi-Oh stuff to go ahead and check out. So starting right off, we got a brand new announcement of the V-Jumped Next promotional card and it's Trap Tricks confirmed for GOAT, which is pretty interesting as one of the text says. But uh, it's, it's V-Jumped 227. This is Sacred Sheep Tree Borrow Myth. So it's gonna be a brand new Earth Plant Exceeds uh, Effect Rank 4. 1900 attack, 2000 defense points, and his effect is secret, so we're going to have to wait for it. But if you guys want to guess what it's going to do, uh, you guys can feel free to let me know. I'm wondering if it's going to be something related to excavating cars, because that's kind of where like plants have been kind of going towards. Uh, but nonetheless, <clears throat> it says... It's going to be a rank 4 plant monster with two effects related to normal trap cards to boost your hand and field presence. Maybe you can reborn a plant monster or also bring back maybe a trap from the graveyard that you excavate. That's my only guess as of right now, but let's go ahead and take a look at the new uh, card called the Brave Beauty of Ruby Regard uh, Randomate. Uh, which is actually an infernoble card but this card is actually going to be pretty game changing because i actually did check out this effect um it's very good so it's a level one fire warrior tuner effect monster so it could be used for synchros 500 attack 200 defense points the stats actually will matter on this card so first off it's always treated as an infernoble card it says that you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn so the first part of the effect is you can discard this card, then target one warrior you control, equip it with one appropriate equipped spell from your deck. Second part is, when this card is not equipped with any equip cards, it is destroyed by a battle with an opponent's monster and sent to the graveyard. You can special summon this card. If you do, equip that monster to your opponent. Uh, controls to this card so that could be pretty good not only do you have the potential of uh you know i haven't seen gradles in a while but that could kind of is giving me those gradle vibes of just like you just crash into the monster it's got 500 attacks so it kind of does matter uh but being able to just discard it to instantly equip a card and also you have like fire uh you know if you need fires or warriors to banish via like i don't know uh certain effects like phoenix blade you can have this card as extra, like, you know, material for whatever case that you need. But I like this ability to instantly equip a warrior. I, I'm wondering if they're going to phase out a sold because this is such a powerful, powerful effect that with a sold, you can send a bamboo. And then with this, you just go and discard it. And at that point, you're going plus one with this card. And not only that, uh, but it is also a tuner. Maybe you could use like one for one with some other combos. But on top of that, if you draw it and you don't happen to have the war, you just crash into your opponent's monster. Now, is this effect going to be really that viable this day and age? where you basically crash your monster. I would say probably not, but this effect of being able to target any warrior monster that you control and equip it with anything from your spell deck, it doesn't have to be specifically for warriors, although you have to target a warrior for it. There's probably gonna be lots of different ways to pull off FTKs. I already smell it coming. There's always going to be someone that figures out some way. Being able to search out any equip spell is pretty powerful in this game. But let me know what cards would work really well with the brave beauty of the Ruby Regard Brandomate. So, um, next up though, we got this secret utility box. This is just like the announcement. We did cover some uh, cards from the secret utility box already. I'll leave it uh, in the pinned down below if, and if you guys want to check them out. But this is just more of an announcement of this thing uh, and it's going to be pretty pricey. I'm wondering if this is going to be like a $30 or $40 uh, thing if we get this in the TCG in some sort of a form. But uh, here is the uh, box over here and there's is some extra info in here. So there's uh, there's a special blue version. So more than likely we're going to get like a red and blue version. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like the OG Pokemon over here. So um, yeah, this is not coming out towards the end of the year for the OCG, which means we won't get this till 2023 um, if we're even getting this in some sort of form like a super box. But uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know what else we are getting with this but there's probably gonna be a lot of stuff they show off what looks like to be like all the elements here it looks like that we got like dark light maybe earth water wind fire i think that those are all like the elements that are in here i don't know if that's just for artwork but i don't know if we're gonna get uh specific ones like it'd be cool if we got like a blue one that was all for waters and that'd be really good for like any of the water sport we get like diva and you know all like the generic water stuff i think that that's an actually cool idea for a utility box for various uh like different um you know types or archetypes or whatnot but anyways that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up let me know your guys' thoughts on any of the new Yu-Gi-Oh cards down below but thanks for doing if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on it if you're new here so you don't miss out on any of the other effects because we still have to go over this effect uh when it does drop i'll let you guys know subscribe turn on the bell and i'll see you in the next video peace